Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's it going, guys? Uh, can I still say Happy New Year's, even though we're in the end of February? <laughs> but anyway, today I'm gonna be fishing uh, Seal Beach off of the jetty. Initially, I wanted to put on my water waders and try fishing off of the beach, but I think I'll try the jetty. I heard a lot of guys been catching different perch and sargo, which are good eating. So that's the plan today. See if I can get some sargo or a few types of different perch using mussels. And um, I'll also be casting my line for, for halibut, of course, from the rock. So stay tuned, guys. Let's see what happens. I see uh, several people out here fishing off of the jetty already. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right over there is the Seal Beach Pier. So I'm to the east of that, off of this small jetty here. Here we go with these rocks, guys. Ah, my hands are full, so. Ah, just have my feet and my balance. <laughs> Jetty fishing is all about finding a, a good, flat, stable rock that's close to the to the water in case you land a big fish. You want to be able to, to get it in. It looks like low tide right now. Either the water is coming in or going out. You guys sure already know this is my, my go-to. No matter where I fish. All right, here we go, guys. First cast. I don't know if you guys can see it, but down on the bottom of those rocks, those are mussels. Those are what I'll be using for uh, the sargo and perch. You can see them, they're all at the bottom of these rocks. When the tide's low enough, you're able to grab them off of the rocks. I was able to get some of the muscles off the rocks that I was talking about. These are it right here. You crack these open and then use that for bait. You just take the knife, put it in the end of it, push it down, turn it around, do the same thing. And then you just turn the knife and it should open up just like that. That stuff in the inside is what you're gonna be scraping out and using and using for bait. This right here. This stuff is not uh this stuff doesn't stay on the hook as well. So this little rubbery part on the end is what I like to thread through the hook a couple times. And usually one bite and they get this stuff off the hook easy. Scrape it out like that. Hopefully a big wave doesn't come and wash all this bait off the rock. <laughs> It'd be a waste. I'm just opening up a few because as soon as I start using it for bait, I know they're gonna get it off the hook easy. I'm gonna miss a lot of them. All right, that should be good for now. I'm gonna be drop shotting. I got a one ounce torpedo weight and I have a size eight hook. These perch have real small mouth. So 
doing a small hook so that they can uh so that when they take the bait you can hook them take that like i said i like to thread it through this little tough grizzle part so that you know something is still on the hook after they bite it make sure you don't bury the hook in the bait you kind of want to leave it exposed so that when they bite it you get them and that's it just like that let's throw it out there and hopefully get a sargo or a perch oh just what i said my bait went washing down We got some right there. A couple of perches. Nice. So that's what we're after. Either Sargo or Perch. My boy Elias is rolling up. What up, man? <laughs> I see you finally made it, huh? <laughs> There we go already. Ah. You literally get like one chance with that bait and then that stuff's off. Look at that. All right, let's get them guys. I'm tired of missing these bites. Oh, man. I keep missing them. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm telling you bro these little things like they have small little mouths too those perch it's like they don't cover the whole hook when they uh when they bite dang guys they keep picking me off as soon as they hit the bottom I keep getting bit I can get them though. There we go. There we go. Take it all away. Oh, he hitting it. Oh, man. Got my bait. So, what I do is I kind of thread it through this little tough part. Just, just so that once they bite this this part, it's gonna come off easy when they hit it. But at least, hopefully, some of this will still be on the hook so they can come back for it. There you go, bro. Thanks, man. Yep, get them. Just let it sink. Yeah, you don't have to cast out that far at all. Like, like just out a little bit. Get one, bro, get a couple. Oh, there it is. Got him. Oh, he on there. Got him. Yeah. Only got one. Oh, look at that. A little yellow fin croaker. Oh, man. He's a little one. You know what? We're going to keep this guy anyway. We might get a little fillet out of him. Fly line or whatever. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, man. Perfect. Nice. Boy, got one. It's a nice perch, man. You gotta try these hooks, man. I know. This is a perfect in? hook. The moment they hit it, they're fucking setting themselves. I didn't even set it, I just winded it in. That's perfect. These have limits or size restriction? 10. No size restriction, just limits is 10, I believe. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Got him. Woo! Another one. Good job, man. That small circle hook is the key. Let me take it off for you. Bro, this is fantastic. I don't know why we... This is great. <laughs> yeah. I'm having a blast. So we, uh... 10 and 10 is 20? <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, huh. oh! Let me have that. I'm throwing that on the hook. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah! Let me have that. Oh man, we about to get a holiday. Woo! He caught me a live bait, guys. Let's go get that holiday. Set the drag on here. Oh no. Broke. Ah. Oh, that was a money maker, man. You had the perfect hook to keep catching those perch. <laughs> Damn it. Alright. Hook up, hook up. Oh, oh, holla bit, guys. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Holla bit. It's a short, but I got one. There it goes, easy release. <laughs> All right guys, that's gonna be it for today. Um, what a long day of fishing it was. I didn't catch as many fish as I would've wanted to, you know, but I definitely enjoyed myself. It was beautiful weather. Got to catch up with my boy Elias. You know, um, he caught those two perch. I caught that yellowfin croaker and that halibut. You know, and overall I had a good time. That's what it's about sometimes, you know, just getting out here and enjoying yourself. Uh, we end up giving all the fish away to a couple of other guys who's out here fishing on the rocks. Um, hey, it was funny too when I caught the halibut. A couple of the guys on the rocks was like, "Hey, amigo, amigo, damelo, damelo, pescado," and I was like, "No, no, that halibut was definitely undersized." So I'm kind of happy it fell off the hook, you know. But um, yeah, man, I appreciate all you guys who continue to support. Hopefully this year I'll be able to upload a lot more videos. I'm definitely out here trying to make time to get this, get some fishing in. So yeah, until next time guys, stay tuned.